Hey everybody, this is Rob Goff here, the ET Whisperer. How are you guys doing out there today? Uh, I wanted to stop in real quick just to share this amazing channeling. Uh, this was done last month on the 15th, our Patreon in-depth poll where everyone chooses topics and then we put those topics to a vote and the winner of the vote gets talked about in-depth for the one topic. This specific topic was multi-dimensional self and how it operates and one of the best things is that i already shared a little clip from this uh last month that was really profound and amazing but this part is really absolutely amazing things that i've never heard considered or even thought about already have shared in detail while we're doing our daily stuff of going to the store eating breakfast getting ready for work blah 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 what the hell is our higher dimensional selves doing? What is our fifth density layer doing? What's our sixth density layer doing? What's our lower fractal doing with those parts? And this gives an example and lays out black and white so beautifully uh, the multidimensional energy behind it. It's really beautiful. Like I said, groundbreaking stuff, guys, and, and it's such to the point where I wanted to make sure that I could share that with you guys. So I'm really excited to do that. I uh, also wanted to let you guys know, anyone who wants to hear about what we're doing, about the new Discord server, about how to get recording of this, uh, the whole channeling, uh, Patreon, any of that stuff, hang out till the end of the video, and I'm going to go a little bit more in depth about that, guys. But until then, please enjoy this amazing channeling, guys, and I will see you on the other side. No. Now understanding the way that it works when you are going out into your multi-dimensional self, we will start expressing the interactivity towards this experience. William, we will ask you for an example of a typical Earth experience in where we can show the interactivity of all of these layers with one another as you are going through this experience. If you are able, tell us a small story. Uh, waking up, doing your morning routine with breakfast and going to the bathroom and then heading to work uh, when you're in the car. Your mind wanders often. Yes, of course. Taking this example, first of all, waking is a specifically enormous responsibility for many humans. But as a soul consciousness is included, it is a magnificent part of the co-creational energy. All of these consciousnesses have been reintegrated with one another and have been experiencing collaborative co-creation. Let us say for that example in that evening, we are speaking of the third layer of sleep state consciousness, where all of the consciousnesses were able to go into higher places due to the nature of the lowest consciousness and their desire to enter that layer. So it is a decision from that lower fractal consciousness that explicitly desires to experience that layer that is able to go in through the higher dimensional layers and create that. So this being created itself was already magnificent, but the layers of consciousness now re-individualize. In that moment, they were a form of collective co-created consciousness. They are also fully integrated with one another, more so themselves than ever, without physical layers of interactivity or with the lower fractal consciousness being awake and focused into their daily life, they then separate themselves for the experiences to come. William is waking to his alarm clock and going into the kitchen for his coffee and breakfast and in that moment the layer above him is in the same spatial area, it is in the same construct of earth in that reality, simply in one dimension higher. So this entity too is going to get his coffee and going to eat breakfast, just in a different vibrational frequency. There are no momentary thoughts of what 
horrible shit can come in this day? Or what will this experience be like? Will it be positive or negative? Or I am really missing my friends. I am really desiring to do this with my day. No, it is simple experience of relaxation and an experience of being in that moment. As fourth density dictates, it is more so an operation of finding connections. So it remembers the dream state, it remembers the fond energy of the experience before, and goes into that same routine. Now remind yourselves that in that energy of the consciousness that is William, the fourth density is slightly higher than he is in his own consciousness. Therefore, the beliefs are similar, although in fourth Less resistant by nature, of course. They are similar in the structure of operation. They have the same feelings about greater things, the same loves, the same lacks of resonance, the same conscious construct, because they are not separate beings. They are, in fact, one and the same consciousness. In the fifth density, this is where the vibration changes quite drastically, because it is not simply a slight elevation of someone who is already in fourth density, but has not learned how to utilize that fourth density body, this is an entirely different layer. There is no breakfast needed in that reality. There is no version of food or coffee that is needed. There is no waking up in that way that is needed, only a refocusing of the singular consciousness. In that way, that same version of consciousness appreciates the breakfast that the lower dimensional counterparts are having, and recognizes the version of the breakfast that the memory recalls in the lowest fractal consciousness that is William. When he is eating, his eggs and bacon taking him back to a meal as a child, reminiscing, working with that consciousness, the higher dimensional self looks upon this in great joy and accesses that memory and relives moments of that memory not by thought projection, not by reminiscence itself and expressing it would be nice to go and experience the favourite diner and where I eat this as a child. No, it is an exact replication of that moment, an exact manifestation of that moment more specifically, although it is not focused in physical reality because it was the third density William who experienced it. It was a kind observation in a direct manner. And if William were to think about that moment of reminiscence, he would realize that that moment was so full of joy in his own experience as a child that there was no concerns, even with certain family dynamics that were causing irritation at that time of his life. There was never a moment of thought. It was a simple enjoyment of that meal. It was the ambient atmosphere, the people around him that created kindness, happiness, experience of smiling. And although even at the age of eight years old he may have slightly had jaded perspectives as seeing adults behaving in negative ways, wondering why they were doing the things that they were, in that moment there was none of this. And the reason why the memory holds that there was none of this is because in the future, in that morning he decided to remember that experience his fifth density consciousness entered, his physical body to experience it with him. That is the interactivity that created the joy, because in that moment William was more than he ever was in his experience. Then you look above one layer still to the sixth density consciousness, where instead of the exploration for wisdom, whereas your fifth density consciousness had to experience directly to understand and to create the nature of wisdom with that experience, The sixth density holds a vibration of connection and wisdom. So now it experiences that fifth density experience through absorption, through the wisdom of knowledge, but also goes into the lives of all of those around that were giving William joy in that day and experiences part of their own experience, but externally from a third person perspective, an external observer and understood their relationships with others, so went to their experience, observed as an observer, and connected several layers outward to several hundreds of human beings in one moment, was able to explore their versions of life from the external perspective, 
and did so because they were connected to William in that moment. The fifth density desired wisdom from the moment and the sixth density desired wisdom and connection and was able to connect to the taste in the most direct way and was able to connect to the sensations of the smells, the memories, the constructs. Now all of these layers have had interactivity with that one moment. Now William leaves to go to work, driving this car for hundreds of miles to reload machines that are made from financial energy in the fourth density consciousness is doing the same but with less resistance, right in the body, right in the physical area, overriding the construct with him, in the car driving his own version of that car in higher dimensional energy, slightly higher but higher nonetheless, does not run on petrol, that runs on pure efficient energy, a version of that energy where the music is always a vibrational frequency of desire, that experience slightly different but nonetheless very similar, and the fifth density consciousness does what it does at all times, wants to learn, goes into the expression of William's desires to know about cars, of William's first memory of starting business and an excitement to start working with monetary structures of businesses, going through the financial ideologies, completely understanding and absorbing the reason for his excitement about becoming abundant, about his own energy, feeling accomplished as he is doing so, and feeling that energy and learning why the accomplishment was there, going back to all of the failures and accomplishments and childhoods to compare them, to also perceive that energy as the sixth density consciousness absorbs all of this and goes further into each of those individual energies. It is not yourself that exists in this plane of reality. It is never any of ourselves that experience the planes of reality around us. Even only 5 to 10% of our consciousness is not focused in our own body. The 5 to 10% observes and is there for us to reach out into and for us to access that information which is not known to us or is not known to be known to us in that moment. <clears throat> Even though our own consciousness is able to extract several things at once comparative to the human who focuses simply at one thing at one time and your conscious availability to open that energy it is an experience much different but we still hold a higher self the one thing that we have shared that was important and the one thing that we need to focus more upon as we express this construct is the depth of importance towards the energy layer of the lower fractal conscious being the driver of the experience. William was the one who desired to wake up in that morning. He was the one who desired to go and get coffee. He was the one who desired to eat breakfast and then go to his job. All of that experience must be done. The decisions must be created. The experience must be at the forefront of the third density consciousness. The lowest fractal of consciousness is what creates the experience for all of the other fractals. Humans walk within their own lives believing they are powerless. Yet you are the most powerful being in all six densities that you exist in. Because it is your free will that drives the experience for all of that multi-dimensionality that you are. And this is never an understatement of energy and co-creation that realizing the importance of your lower fractal consciousness being that which derives and expresses in the most full way and in the most powerful and in the most controlling fashion of all of the other experiences because it gives you the opportunity to realize the power that you hold. These other consciousnesses are not slaves to your experience either. They are not unwilling, dragged along consciousnesses that you must feel sorry for. They are part of you. They are not separate from you. They are only that expansion of you that you feel you cannot reach. That is the part that all of you reach in your meditations, that all of you reach in your sleep state, that all of you reach in moments of pure joy whether it is the smallest part above you or the largest part, all of you 
have the success for you as well. We will take all queries. Man, I hope you guys really enjoyed that channeling. It was such a beautiful channeling, so in-depth and so beautiful. Uh, I really appreciate you guys being here to hear it, and I hope that it was as useful to you as it was for me. Uh, channeling for as long as I have, I don't always get to hear new stuff, so when I do, it's really, really exciting for me. Um, I wanted to let you guys know a couple things real quick. First of all, we have our new Discord server dropping, and if you're not a millennial or a Gen Z, you probably have no clue what that means. Uh, some of you might be hip to the to the new stuff, but Discord is kind of like a social media, kind of like a, a talk channel, kind of like a whole lot of different stuff uh, that you're not really used to, but it's a place that incorporates instant communication, multiple points of interest for one group and topic, and is really a beautiful invention. It's been around for years, but it's become more popular in the last three or four. Uh, and then for the last two, I've learned about it through some of my other uh, varying projects that I have that are not channeling related. So I really hope that any of you guys who have not checked out Discord will come over and check out our Discord. We actually have some server roles for our Patreon members who will give you uh, exclusive access to our Patreon voice and text chat rooms and it's going to be a beautiful place where we can do patreon related stuff but i'm also going to drop in there randomly just to talk with everybody whoever's there can jump on uh and have a chat uh have a channeling that's distributed there live uh just really a lot of cool things that we can do with that there that we can't do on facebook and can't do on youtube and with censorship being higher than it ever is we can't talk about the nitty-gritty stuff that's in life the things that uh, everyone wants to know about but can't really talk about without fear of getting your whole YouTube channel shut down or your whole Facebook. All the really crappy stuff that happens uh, in that way. So Discord will give us a great opportunity to be more frank, to, to share more in-depth and communicate outside of the realm of all the confines. I do know that Discord, like anywhere else, can censor, um, you know, can can do a lot of things, but uh, we've got great moderators there who are going to be keeping an eye and make sure nobody's breaking the rules and, and doing all the bad stuff. You know, we're, we're not going to allow it to become a place for toxicity either, which some Discord servers, as soon as they go up, um, they can attract the worst of uh, types of people. So we're going to make sure there's a balance there, a place to be safe to talk about spirituality, but also a place to be safe to talk about life in general. And it's not just the Discord server that I wanted to chat with you guys about. Um, those of you who like those t-shirts that you've seen on the beginning of the video where I was talking and introducing the video, uh, you guys can go there at uh, etwhisper.com. And when you go there, uh, you can go to the tab that says Shop. And when you click on Shop, uh, three tabs come up, Books, Video, Audio, and Merch and T-Shirt. Obviously, uh, the Merch and T-Shirt tab. Or you can just go directly to etmerch.net and get it there. Uh, it's all one and the same. Uh, another thing is that a few people in Patreon have not been able to find archives. So if you're coming to Patreon or are interested in Patreon and you want to find our four years of archive videos, if you go to patreon.com slash etwhisper, they'll pop up a little page and that page says... Post, membership, and community. If you go to posts with uh, that specific address at patreon.com slash etwhisper, you can go down all the way through all four years of our archives and look at all the videos that are there. Uh, dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of hours of channeling that's not made it to YouTube before. Beautiful stuff there, guys. Um, really great. And we're, we're trying to focus it out with our other change, which is our other announcement. Our calendar has been shut off now for over a month. We intended to, to switch session types and stop doing as many one-on-one -on -one sessions and start doing group sessions. We're still doing that. We're just trying to find a calendar where people can go in and choose their own days that they want to do group sessions to join and be able to join. So now, instead of one person getting a 30-minute session or a one-hour session now, we're going to have the ability for five people to get a 90-minute or two-hour session and share that space collectively. So everyone's on the call, everyone gets to ask their questions, and everyone gets X amount of time 
uh, for their questions to be asked and answered. So it'll be a beautiful thing. We have to try it out. It's new, so we don't know if it's going to work uh, really well or if it's going to kind of work or whatever. Uh, it's a new thing, so we're going to kink out that. There still is going to be opportunity for one-on-one -on -one sessions, but extremely limited compared. Uh, we already had a two-and-a-half-month waiting list, and doing five a week is all that we could do or can do at the, this point with the kids and, and with our scheduling. Uh, we're hoping uh, to open more of that, but that's also why we're doing the group stuff. We're also going to be doing a new channeling class every month that's going to be open for everybody. So anyone who wants to join the channeling class can join in a group setting and get your questions asked, answered, and walk through better things and how to channel. Also with Trev and Art of showing up uh, each time to, to share a little bit from their own stuff too, from their own perspectives and what's helpful to that collective group for channeling. A lot of great new stuff coming up, guys. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for su your support. Thank you guys for hanging out, even though we haven't put a video out for a few weeks. Uh, we're trying to, to get all this new stuff put together, and it's taken a little bit of time. I also had uh, a back injury with a broken toe. My baby broke my toe, my son broke my back, is what I've been telling everybody. So we've been having that retrograde and full effect type issue, which has slowed down a lot of stuff tremendously. Uh, my back's been healing for a week, and it's still uh, very sore, very tough to get around. Thank you guys for hanging in there, being patient. We love you guys so much. We want to make our community uh, more open and more accessible to more people, including the parts where you pay money uh, if you want to participate, but also including the free content that we get out there. That's what this is about. That's what changing these session types are about. If I can jump on camera or get live on a live stream once a week, I mean, we are light years ahead of where we were and light years ahead of what we wanted to do and what we've been able to do for the last few years. So we just appreciate all of you guys' love, your support, your financial energy, your donations, all of that is not lost in us how important that is. We want to give back, and hopefully our Discord server will be a way of us being more intimately connected with everybody uh, because it's not been easy to get a hold of me. It's not... The, the more that we've grown as a community, the more people that reach out to me and the harder it is to reach back to everybody. The Discord server gives us that ability to, to have more of that and more direct communication. So anyway, guys, I love you. Thank you guys for being here. Hope you enjoyed the channeling. Uh, anything else that you guys want to look into, uh, etwhisper.com or patreon.com slash etwhisper. And that will give you the most information of, of most of the new stuff that's coming out. The Discord server, when we go live, we will probably actually go live from the Discord server and simulcast uh, on YouTube so that we can get everybody over there to the Discord server. And when we do that, whatever our video is to announce it to the world, uh, by all means, that will give us the opportunity to get you guys over immediately and any of you who already have discord or already know what discord is you guys can send me a personal invite and anyone who sends me a friend request i will send back an invitation before it goes live to the public if you want to find me <clears throat> on discord uh, my username is uh, let me see. It's the ET Whisper one four four seven. So that's my code number one four four seven. If you put that in, you'll find me. Send me an invite. I will be able to send you guys out a link for the Discord server right before it goes public, so you guys can be there with us while it's going public. And if you're on Patreon, you will get the patron role. You will have access to those exclusive channels on our server that only Patreon members can get. And the rest of you, we've got lots of different things on there. Uh, we've got rooms for memes. We've got for spiritual talk, for guided chats, for channeling. We've got a general chat, memes, general voice. We've got Patreon chat. Uh, we've got some bots. We've got a fan art page. I mean, we've got lots of stuff, and we're still finishing it all up now. I keep talking, and I'm going to make this video like an hour long with almost 15 minutes of me just talking. So I'm shutting it up. Love you guys. See you on the other side.